G'day you folks, welcome to part 13 of the Team Associated B5M build series. Part 13, I will go with you through with you how to glue up tyres. Now, this is straightforward, pretty easy, and um, obviously, as you can see, I've already done some tyres, already done, well, three of the four tyres. Um, so yeah, it's, it is an easy thing to do. Before we get into the tires, um, previous video I showed you how to mount up, uh, not mount up, solder up the wires. Um, and of course I was trying to get it done and the soldering iron soldering wasn't wanting to play the game. I went through and just redid a few of the wires, but I'll show you what I did off camera. Um, so off camera I have resoldered the wires I'll just zoom it in a little so as you can see I've resoldered the wires I've put my transponder in I've hooked up all the wires to the receiver and also as you can see I have put in the uh, carbon fiber battery strap now obviously um, this doesn't come with the kit if you do uh, decide to uh, get one, uh, Team Associated also make a carbon fibre battery strap. Uh, when you get it, I always, this is out of habit from my days of racing nitro touring car and uh, like nitro buggy and truggy and whatnot with carbon fibre. Uh, I always put uh, a, a layer, or around the edge here, I put a layer, like a bead of uh, thin CA and that helps seal the it helps seal the um, carbon fiber because carbon fiber is actually I mean apart from uh, the top here where it's nice and smooth the sides here are porous so moisture and like dirt and oil can get in so you want to keep so you want you don't want and what can happen is the carbon fiber can uh, delaminate so you don't want that to happen while this is just a battery strap if it was more structural part of the chassis you'll definitely want it to <laughs> not delaminate if it was full carbon fiber but since it's not we won't need to worry about that all right so that's what I've done so far also put the uh, sensor wire on onto the ESC pretty easy uh, I've got a million of those things lying around in my pick box, so I just had to find one that was the right length. Anyway, folks, that's that. Let's get on with the tyres. So what I'll do is I'll just zoom in a smidge. Just a little bit. All right. A bit more. All right, there we go. Now you don't have to see my creepy-looking face. So what? Um, generally what I do... The first thing I do is I will get a rag and some methylated spirits. Uh, it's like a well, rubbing, uh, rubbing alcohol. I, I don't know. Uh, a, a general purpose cleaner. What I'll do: squeeze a decent amount onto the cloth. And what I'll do is with the tire, I'll clean the bead. Now you got with metho methylated spirits. Um, don't have to worry about because it, it is an alcohol um, it will evaporate very quickly this what this does is um, these are J concepts barcodes and uh, J concepts tires aren't sometimes with other tires you get they put like a chalky residue around there like a, or, and it, it, or around the tire and it just preserves it um, you probably can't see that's just from wiping the bead of the tire. You can see a bit of dirt. That um, cleans the bead so the glue can work better. Same thing with the rim. Get it in the bead. Just work it, work it around. Like I said, because it methylated spirits is an alcohol, it will evaporate quite quickly. Right, so that's um, 
and that's that's the cleaning process. Um, as, as mounting these rims, the the so team associated rims that come with it don't look too bad. I mean, uh, my original where are they? I've got some original. These are my original um, B4 rims. Um, and those are the rears, these are the fronts. They're the originals. They've copped the pounding. It, um, tires actually came with the kit back then. And so these, I've had those rims since 2007. Haven't used the tires much, but apart from that, I mean, they're, they're not a bad rim. So, I mean, other people might say otherwise. Anyway, I'm deviating. Next part is to put your tire foam obviously into the tire. Now quite simple, you just get it, fold it like that, put it in. And then just work it into the inside of the tire. It can be an annoying process but you know you get get the hang of it after a while. When you've built as many kits as I have and has mounted as many tires as I have, it, we, you can almost do it blindfolded. Alright, so that's the foam inside the tire. Now, one thing um, I'll mention to you, if uh, the tire is a directional pattern, make sure that you have the rims facing the right way. Um, I haven't got any tyres on me at the moment, but say for instance we've got a V pattern, for, just for argument's sake, uh, you want to have the V, what I usually do if I have a directional tyre, so like a V pattern, I'll have it so the V's are pointing that way, so four tyres, like that, and then so they're all facing one direction, and then with my rims I'll have, make sure so for instance the right rims are facing that side with the V and then with the left obviously facing that way that way you don't get the tread muddled around but in this case I mean with the these J Concepts tyres doesn't matter if I have it that way or that way it's going to be the same thing anyway so now we will put the tyre onto the rim They're quite a soft. The green compound's quite soft, and don't worry about trying about stretching it over. I mean, they're designed to withstand several thousand RPM along a track, especially if you're running in a modified class. So you know, grabbing the tire and moving it around on the rim is not going to do any harm. All right. So just make sure you squeeze it. Squeeze it like that, make sure that the uh, foam isn't sitting on the rim, or in the bead rather, because uh, you want a good adhesion and you want a uh, glue, time to glue up. So what I do now is I'll get it and I'll start squeezing it like that and turn the rim. Just What it does, it just, just works the foam around so it's even, so it's not, so you don't have like little tiny rises like that, so as it's spinning it's going to like that along the track. Alright, now, next part is glue. I'm using Zap uh, Medium CA, green bottle. Um, also, you can get, I also, uh, talk about Butterfingers. Right. Um, I have the Thin CA, it's in a pink bottle. I, I like using the Zap products. You might like to use J Concepts or much more, or AKA, whatever suits your fancy. I like using Zap. Personally, I mean, that's what my local hobby shop uh, stocks. So, and I mean, I build my model airplanes with it too. So, if it can hold an airplane together in the air, it can hold tyres on a rim. All right, so now what we do, just pull the tyre back a bit and just start gluing. Squeeze it gently. You don't want it overflown as it has just done. All right, so with your rag, just wipe off, quickly wipe off the excess. Don't want it 
really getting on the tread. All right. Okay, now, these, if you haven't seen these before, they're not paddle tire extensions, they're glue bands. What they do is they compress the tire onto the rim so the big bead can stick better. So we just put it around like that. Make sure that the tabs here are in line with the bead. Okay, so again, same process. The other side. So if you if it's off camera and you can't see it. Alright. So just move it around. The rag. Wipe away the excess. Alright, so same thing again. Mounting band. Now, if you don't have these, don't panic. These aren't necessary to have. You can just use ordinary um, elastic bands and just to, to squeeze it on. But these are a lot easier. I mean, you can get... Um, what I'll do is I'll look up the part number and I'll put uh, the part number in the description box down below so you can see, uh, so you can get them. Uh, you can get them like Tower Hobbies, A-Main Hobbies. Uh, you can even get your local hobby shop to order them in. Uh, these are for one-tenth scale off-road. You can get them in one-tenth on-road, one-eighth off-road, yeah. So, okay, so that's the tire mounted. Now, of course, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, I usually let the tire sit for half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Once that's gone, here's one I've prepared earlier. So... Simple, you just pull it off. And then once you're done, you just move the rim, the tire, like that. See if it's properly glued, because you may have to re-glue it on again, just certain parts. And that's how you mount tires to a rim, people. Now, um, that's the end of part 13. Part 14, I will go over some painting with you and give you some painting tips. Um, and then part 15 will be the reveal, folks. So stay tuned.